Hello everyone, welcome. Today I have a very quick tip on how to dynamically remove empty columns in Power Query. If you like what you see here, remember to subscribe and share. With that, you help me to grow in YouTube and keep bringing free content. Without further ado, let's start. Here I have the table with those empty columns. On the formula bar, after the column, I'm gonna say uh, table profile. Open parenthesis, it's asking me for the table that is coming from my step uh, source. Close parenthesis at the end, and I'm gonna press enter. Here on the column column, I have the name of the columns that this table has. It has more information, minimum, maximum, average, etc. But the columns that I'm interested on is the column count and the column null count. If the numbers are the same, that means that all the items in that column are nulls. So I'm gonna select column count, press and hold the control key, select null count, and then I'm gonna go to add column, standard, subtract, and now I have the column with the difference between the count and the null count. For the subtraction, I'm gonna click at the row and filter. I'm gonna keep the zeros. That means that all the items in those columns are nulls. Here I have the names of those columns. I'm going to keep this information as a list. At the end, uh, the closing parenthesis on the formula bar, I'm going to provide one set of square brackets and I'm going to provide the name of the column, which is column. <laughs> so I'm going to press enter. And this is the list of the columns that I want to remove. Click at FX to create another step. So this is my previous step, which is this list. I'm going to say equal. Uh, table, remove columns, right here. Open parenthesis, the table is gonna come from my source, comma, the columns that I want to delete or remove are coming from this list. These are all the columns that I want to remove. Go to the end, close parenthesis, press enter. And now I have my table, if I go to my source, I have my table with all those empty columns. Now, if I go to my last step, I have my table without those empty columns. I hope you found this information useful. As I said, if you like it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, follow me on LinkedIn, and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.